following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 25, NASDAQ off 17, S&P's flat. Gold, gold contract down two dollars and ten cents at fourteen twenty-one. We get silver up fifteen cents, sixteen dollars thirteen cents a an ounce, and uh, you know silver started the the run. We we're talking about it yesterday, even it, talking about before that, right? It's been three or four days, and, yeah. And, and it followed through. Gold followed through yesterday. You get the silver equities, gold equities, all doing ABC structures, all on the way up. Not all, but many of them. Pretty, pretty wild. Light sweet crude. Now this is a hit, man. Um, I know. Yeah. Just I, I say I know at nine o'clock I did I was gonna say above fifty seven dollars I had to do a double take, man. I dropped an, a buck in the last hour right. from the time I did the nine o'clock to the ten. I stuttered on myself because I said, wait a second, it's at fifty six dollars. Yeah. We haven't said fifty six in a while. We haven't. Yeah. We haven't. Fifty six twenty seven. Notes and bonds, you got the ten year note flat, one twenty seven eleven, thirty year uh, down six, one fifty four nineteen, king dollar, king dollar flat also ninety six eight sixty. The euro is at 112, the yen is at 107.92, and the pound is out here at 124. And you know, when I was talking to Teddy Kegstas yesterday, it's gonna be interesting because uh, it, what, what he figures is on the radar again uh, is we're gonna be talking about the pound, the euro, but not so much the cross rate with the dollar, the cross rate with the, uh, the, with the yen. Okay. And you know, we're gonna have to figure that out. I says, okay, I gotta. Have to I was start. listening to the I'm interview. Start, I jumped I'm off. I'm gonna have to yeah. start doing some studying. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you're used. To, I'm used to the cross rates of the dollar, but right. I'm not used to the cross rate of like a pound yen. Yes. Uh, a euro yen. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Sure. And it's like, okay, what has been moving? You know, like the silver market and the gold market. I mean, um, you know, the bottom line is that uh, this has been an extensive move, man. I mean, look at silver. They, they that's <laughs> rocket ship baby it, yeah i mean what four days yep you know you've gone from uh, 15 18 to 16 13. Man. and that's really just since monday which is even sounds yep. sooner right i know right. it's four days no. but it's like man this week alone and we almost have two full trading days left almost you could call it so yeah. it's three days it's four you know right. i say my goodness yeah. yeah uh gold you know bottom line is that uh you know, when we take a look at this gold market, you, you had, had volume, you had price, you had it all, and you have it this morning. We're at 250,000 contracts already. That's a monster. Yeah. That is a monster. Yeah. You know, and it's not backing off these highs, man. This sure. is what's to blow away this high. Yeah. So. You know, leave that for a second. Yeah. I was just, when I was on with Basil, right, he likes to talk about those squares that'll form. You can make the rectangle around this, yeah. right? You don't have to, and um, it becomes an important rectangle, of course, it you does. know, as, as the upper end and the lower end. And you don't even have to draw the box for this one. I see it every time because I, this thing almost fills it out perfectly in terms of hitting the tops, hitting the bottoms, yep. completely symmetrical on all sides. Right. And, you know, it's near that top end. It's um, pretty. So we'll see. It is, it yeah. is. And that's quite a little range in terms of, you're talking about 1390, basically, up to 1430, yeah. $40 range it's been bouncing in since uh june 21st so we're talking about about a solid month that we're now just bouncing around in that level yeah and um we'll see which way it bounces out right exactly. or if it just bounces exactly. around for a little bit it's, it can right. be okay oh, there's, no, yeah. there's no doubt man. Yeah. there's no doubt uh netflix uh no doubt folks so this is uh so this is uh nf surprise surprise man yeah. and i said so i was a little bit under the weather yesterday and the day before and yeah. i binged some netflix it was great yeah. i binged season three of stranger things uh check it out if you've watched the first couple or even check it out if you haven't in terms of watching it. it's a good program but man, they didn't. Uh, nobody else is is watching those programs, I guess, because they're losing subscribers in the U.S. Man, what happened? Right. Well, you can see it, this. This is really an intriguing one, you know, technically too. Okay, is, you know, you can see. I right now, I think I have a what a, a three year. I have a two year chart up. Three year weekly, I think. Three. Yeah. So what you can see is that you know your highs here about a year ago. Yeah. Actually, this, this, like, a year ago to the date, almost. You know, four twenty three. That's the week of uh, the 22nd of June, okay? Yeah, um, 13 months ago that one yeah. is, yeah. So then you have the downdraft. 
Sure. You know, big downdraft. That was the 20th of July. That, that would have been earnings. I, I was going to say, ago. that is the year ago. Yeah. Right, exactly. And guess what? You know, the first time you came up there, you came up there, tested with $27 million, and the second time tested with $26 million. And it's like, okay, here's the consolidation. Man, you know, that's, the, that's some volatility, too. It is. And the, the, at the bottom of this consolidation, you know, bring you all the way back to... Uh, with that's two two seventy four two seventy four. You know, I mean, quite a run it's had on that two thirty one, and we were just sitting at three seventy five. Yeah. Yeah. Mammoth. No. And can we get into the real numbers, uh, the yes. news, just because they're pretty stunning, man. Uh, I think the net ads were about two point seven million subscribers. They were looking for five million. Um, yeah, so they signed up as much as two point eight international, but they lost one hundred and thirty domestic. So you're looking at only net ads of about 2.7 million, and their guidance was about 5 million. And the number that you know you want to talk about, you're, you're losing, you're losing competition, man. It's coming in terms of, yeah. and this it's not even quite here yet. I mean, we're talking about Disney, Disney no, Plus not. on the horizon, right? You have HBO Max is in like a year. Um, all it, of them. what's surprising to me is that. You lose that many subscriptions when we know it's only 11 bucks. <laughs> yeah, and it might be like 13 or 14 yeah. now, I think, because yeah. it's funny that in my head it feels, still feels like a nine, but then when it shows up, they, they've crept up a little bit, Where uh, and I, you're going to get the Disney one that's going to be like seven bucks, so it is going to turn into a price deal. I think that's, you know what yeah. I mean, which is remarkable, right. that but competition, again, as in, yeah, compared to cable. It's nothing, man. But right. compared to some of these other streaming giants, right. man, it's going to be right in the wheelhouse. And I think I said to you as well, so the World Series of Poker was on, uh, just finished up yesterday or two days ago. Oh, and, who won? Uh, Ensan, Hassan okay. Ensan, okay. Uh, $10 million. The, the young Italian Dario Sammartino came wow. in second for $6 million. Um, but I paid for a service to, to watch some of that. Yeah. And one of them was a CBS service for like 6 bucks a month. Amazing content. You're talking about 50, 60, 70 hours of content for six bucks. Uh, one of them was and called. And then you could get rid of it too, though. That right? was going to be right. So yeah. the the way this is going to work, and I had mentioned to you, is that there's no reason you need to subscribe to all these services for 12 months a year. Right. You know, you subscribe for two months, three months, you get your fill. And one of the persons in then said, I haven't watched Netflix in three months, uh, no new content. Well, then cancel it and come back, right? Yeah, I mean, right. that's that's the way to do it, man. You cancel cable, you subscribe to HBO for a few months, you watch Game of Thrones, you cancel that. You subscribe to CBS, you watch, I mean, that's right. There's no, yeah. um, th I think that's where you'll see things go because there's, there's no barrier. It's not like you don't have contracts with cable. There's no, so why not? Yes. You know, you'll start, I think those companies are going to start maybe pricing in better contract deals because... There's going to be the incentive, I'll sign up, I'll watch everything, I'll cancel. I'll sign right. up, watch everything, cancel. But Netflix, man, down more I than can, 10%. You know, that's wild. I could see someone making an app, that a real simple app that, hey, here's an app for $2, right? And on that app, you're just going to hit a couple of buttons, and you can either go on, go off, or all sure. these different services. I bet. You know? hey, I right. Because that's, that's When a I realized savings. it, and I just realized that one app, six bucks, and uh, I'm into poker, but and this yeah. is some of the greatest content. You know, you get to see everyone's hole cards. You get all this yeah. dynamic. It's They're playing for $10 million, right? And it was $6, and I get 60-plus hours of live content. And that's all I was kind of watching, you know, because right. you work, you come home, maybe you watch right. TV for an hour or two a night, and so I'd fire it up. And I was like, why am I paying for cable? Netflix, Prime, right. all these things I'm not using. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm then going to cancel that poker one because right. now the World Series is over. Right. So I paid six bucks for a heck for of it. Right. And then you'd pay it next year or something. Yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials down 23. NASDAQ is off eight. S&Ps are up one and a half. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. folks and uh so microsoft microsoft's going to be coming out with numbers this is today let's see is it what, is today thursday right oh no it's 25th you're so right but a week from today thursday. okay next thursday so you know you get microsoft yeah um you're on yeah somehow that's great panther that chart keep going yeah and okay so this baby decent looking chart oh yeah it's at highs <laughs> no doubt i mean that's look at that rocket ship that's two years you know i just as you're talking about it bill gates he dropped the number two spot you see that to the uh lv the louis um oh really yeah the louis louis vuitton okay. um, guy is now number two yeah uh, he's his he's he's, he's up like 39 percent this year or something he made 39 billion dollars really? in the last year oh not a bad year to be selling uh dom perignon yeah exactly uh, <laughs> exactly uh but the microsoft so bill gates still doing fine and we we're just talking so yeah it seems like they're expecting so all expectations right uh the windows 7 software nearing its expiration date the company's yeah. trying to funnel their corporate customers towards a subscription-based package of products rather than a simple renewal, boost, boosting revenue as personal computer growth stagnates. Uh, interesting thing here, we're, we're on that type of it plan. Been for I, a while. Microsoft 365, yeah, right. least time flies. I'm gonna I'm gonna undersell probably how long it is. You know, it's got to be right. a few years. Um, oh yeah. And you, I think you run it first. Right. Maybe four, five, even six. Yeah. I mean, it's a long yeah. time, right? And, and it's, you know, it, what it is, folks, it's very inexpensive to get all the products. And well, it seems it, I mean. It is. Now, we use like the personal version, I believe, because you only have a few licenses. I bet it is even on the corporate, but they, they start, I feel like they jack it up on those companies a bit yeah. compared to uh, the. I think the, we, we have what? I think it's $99. And you get up to like five, five users, licenses, I think. and right. that allows you email, Word, PowerPoint, right. um, Outlook. Anything you use. Yeah, yeah. the whole Microsoft suite, right. um, Office Productivity Suite, they're calling it. So their goal is trying to shift more customers to subscriptions, which provide a smoother stream of recurring revenue, unlike older business models where what, you buy in seven, they got to right. wait and try and get you to buy ten. That's right. Um, 
And the other thing, like you're talking about, you know, I can get my email on my computer, on my phone. Right. It's a cloud-based type deal, yep. so it is actually much simpler. And when you're talking about trying to sell a company on this, it seems like it's one of the easier sales you can make, as right. in you're not even trying to sell a family, a student, a, a person. Right. These are people that need computers, as in companies There's need no computers. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's um, going to streamline, you know, what you're doing. Yeah. So I, Microsoft's been a powerhouse man, and... and so in a week, we'll, I guess we'll figure it out. But this was a golden move by Nadella, talking about their cloud and so forth. The Office 365 package of products unveiled two years ago and has gained traction this year as customers replace aging. Now, I think we were in something before this, though, we were, and they, yeah. they've, they've added, they've, they've enhanced, right. you know, the, right. the deal. Um, replace the Windows 7 licenses as Microsoft signs Azure cloud service deals that include the 365 software. So... Lots they can, uh, yeah, and look at this. some of these deals include my Microsoft 365 sales. Walgreens signed up to buy licenses for 380,000 workers. Wow. Um, and Providence took, Providence uh, St. Joseph Health, 119,000. So I wonder what kind of price tags, uh, yeah, because there's some negotiations, I imagine, when you tell them that you want 400,000 licenses. <laughs> seriously. You better right. give me a bargain if I'm going to have a million users on, yep. your, on your platform tomorrow. Big time. Yeah. Uh, IBM. IBM came out with numbers last night. Yeah, uh, big blue. Yeah, it's up 425. Uh, now, they don't have much going for them. Uh, <laughs> okay. But, you know, it's like, okay. They're, they're, A little bit of future expectation with their red hat. With red hat. That's, that's, yeah. that's the number, you know. Uh, so, you know, this is, I think, how many, it's like years that the revenue has continued to fall. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. Second quarter revenue fell 4.2 percent to 19.2 okay. billion, slightly beating the average annual estimate. Okay. You know, fourth consecutive quarter of revenue yeah. declines, um, and it's uh, just above there because they were talking about when they'll start talking about Red Hat. Um, CFO declined to answer any questions, saying the company will share an update financial forecast, annual investor briefing, August 2nd. Huh. Um, but that, who, who knows? That doesn't what, sound good. No, but who knows what, what that may be, too. Um, yeah. And so this is the, the deal here is that IBM's pegging its future to a hybrid cloud strategy. You hear about this, right? So private and public type yeah. deals um, that will allow it to offer services on both private and rival public clouds. CEO... Um, Ginny Romney yeah. paid a rich premium for Red Hat in order to help the 108 year old company catch up with cloud market leaders Amazon and Microsoft. Uh, closed last week. I want to see if they expanded on it, but that is the, the clutch that, of. I was trying to find this last night, too, because what happened, what, what I want to know here is that what, how is their cloud growing? Because the last time they came out, they, they, were, like, they were growing at, at an anemic rate, like 10%, where these other companies. You know, Microsoft's growing at 30 or 40. Amazon's growing at 50. Their cloud okay. service. Oracle's growing at it's yeah. an outrageous number. And they're, they're you know talking. I mean? I mean, this is uh, so. Let's see. You got some somebody CEO of Nucleus Research. The future of IBM is IBM is hybrid cloud. But the biggest challenge is that, that they're very late to the cloud party. Um, you know, competing with Amazon and, and Microsoft. And Microsoft. Yeah. Oof, cloud is a make or break for IBM, but nobody even knows they're there. Well, we'll yeah. see what happens. But the market taking that all right. Oh yeah, no, no. That's say it's the first time they yeah. you know they caught a bid. I yeah. mean, the chart's still a mess. You know, long term. I yeah. Mean, uh, but guess what? If if you're up four bucks, you're up four bucks, which is you know. Can we go back to Microsoft and make sure yeah. that because uh, they're saying it might be the 18th. We might have had a different stock. We're jumping around. Let's just make sure. Yeah, it is after the market tonight. Oh, okay. good. Yeah. Somehow, I think that was the, remember the Great Panther chart jumped up, maybe? Oh, yeah. So, Microsoft after oh, the bell tonight. Perfect. We'll see if action. they got those Office 365 subscribers Ooh. this evening. Totally. Totally. Let's go to our man, Tony in Wellesley. Tony, what's going on, brother? How are you, buddy? Doing good, man. Yourself? Good. Uh, long time listen, a very long time. I know, man. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Appreciate it. I remember it. when you were with Paul the Poet and the truck driver, you know? I love it. There. That's right. That's right. And yeah, Mark, you, you know, I... I appreciate I, all you've done, Tom. I appreciate all you've done. No, listen, we appreciate the listening. And I still, you know, now I haven't talked with uh, Peter in a long time, but Mark, uh, I emailed him... I, He's still out there, man. It's it's awesome, and it's like, oh my God, that's 1996. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, man. <laughs> you know, where I was with my grandson on 
on uh, Sunday, Castle Island, Sullivan's, man. I hope you had a good hot dog. I had a hamburger, but it was just as good. Perfect. Was that Sullivan? Sullivan? Yeah, Sullivan's, yeah. exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's... So that... I'm looking at the gold stock. Okay. I think they might be overbought in a short-term basis. I'm thinking of taking a position in dust. What say you? Guys? Oh, my God. I wouldn't be doing that. Okay, let's take a look at it, though. Uh, hey, listen, I, we get it. So, dust folks is the uh, Direction Daily Gold Miners Bear, three times levered um exchange traded fund now this works off the hui the new york arca gold miners index so uh when you take a look at that if we go over to the hui first okay you, you know this uh, you know and bull here you stay right there we'll, we'll take a i'll be here that's a beautiful thing man 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now. They are... Come on. They're negative? Where are they? Roll those dice. There we go. Uh, they're, they're down 21. NASDAQ is off 5. S&P's up 2.5. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 21. NASDAQ is uh, off 7. S&Ps are up 3.5. We're talking about our man Tony from Wellesley. We're talking about dust, folks. And uh, dust is the three-time uh, 
triple three, bear. That's right, three-timed leopard bear uh, inside the gold miners uh, index. So, Tony, the, and I understand what you're saying that you know this run has been pretty extensive uh, inside the. Well, you look at the top of the Bollinger Band, the stochastic is way overbought. The RSI is overbought. The MACD is taking like a possible two or three day pullback. You know, I don't know. I don't think so more. But you know, I'm just thinking out loud. Well, maybe it's a it's a two or three day trade. Especially going into Friday. No, I, I, listen, I'd just be really careful. I wouldn't be going short these gold stocks, but I understand it. And, okay. and what you're hearing, t folks, is this. See, Tony's been doing this a long time also. And when the we pull back does come, it'll be vicious. Sure. <laughs> that's, how gold, yeah. that's how gold and gold stocks go. So I, I get it. Um, but I can... Um, there's w way too many ABC structures that still haven't finished off here. Um, you know, okay. and they're all over the place, man. I mean, you know, we, we take a look at, hey, I'll show you, an Eco Eagle hasn't gone after the highs yet, but guess what? It's just a matter of when this thing wants to, you know, well, let's see. Yesterday we did 2 million shares. You know, you're going into, was that 3.2? But, you know, that's just sitting up at the highs. Um, Royal Gold is already $11 over its all time high. Franco Nevada picked up its head yesterday you know this is another ABC they're rich, Tommy. They're rich. well they're they're, they're rich, rich. The stock, the price rich you know oh this listen I, I understand that but you've been doing this long enough too that what ends up happening the gold equities like to run dramatically on the upside and have vicious retracements on the downside right. you know and you know you are just gonna need some patience here man you know and I can tell now that's the technical one, but you've been listening long enough too that you know the aspect of when gold's normally going to pull back and we have a run, folks, right? I'll get way too many gold calls. What we have got here, and we still have it on the network, is this, there's still enough bearish views, and that's telling me that guess what? The surprises still can be on the upside, you know? And we haven't, okay. and what hasn't happened is that we have not had the dollar pull back at all yet had this run if the dollar pulls back it's gonna that's be like man right. you know that's sure. right so i asked tommy a quick question on netflix yeah of course let's go what do we got i see an analyst come out on cnbc flash the and then the year target of uh, a long-term target of 450. is it a good buy here depends how long term I think Netflix will be around, yeah. man. But we, we, we came up with a lot of decent arguments against in that last segment, if you were listening, in terms of, uh, you know, I would not... The thing that really gives me pause, Tony, is that I'm kind of, like, shocked by those numbers they came out with. So yeah. I would... If you asked me this yesterday, I would have said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that um, okay. in the long term, man, they're, 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 you're never going to see people canceling you know. Netflix. Say Tommy, that again, let me Tony. Tell you one quick story about your father. Oh boy, I perfect. I remember 1997. I was listening to his show when he just started, and your sister was sick at Western High. He says, "Folks, I got to do an archive show. My daughter's sick." That's how much of a family man you got for a father. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, Tony. He's a beautiful person, and God bless you all. That's a great memory, man. Thanks, Thanks for the story. <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. I don't, I don't even remember that. Hey, hey, that's, that's so funny. funny. I remember, Tom. I was walking in my neighbor. I don't. I live in Watertown now. I lost my wife seven years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. But, uh, I remember you doing that, man. And I said, this guy like me is a dedicated father. You know, He's family first. He's a you're a beautiful person. God bless. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Have a great Bye -bye. one, man. Have a safe one. Western High. There you go, man. Back in the day, you got it. Oh my God, I'm telling you. The uh, let's go to the note and bond market. So yesterday, folks, what we had notes, you know, basically picked up their head again. Uh, they're going to need now more volume. You know, yesterday was 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 a decent day. What we had done is this: we we come back to the breakout area. So it, when I say the breakout area, you know, I mean they've been going up for a long time, but. You had that big day on the 31st of May. So you pull back into that area, had light volume, you know, start picking up again on 
yesterday, but you can see yesterday we only did one million contracts. Now today we don't get a lot of movement, but you already got eight hundred and seventy eight eight seventy eight thousand. Okay. So you're gonna do some volume out here today. It looks to me like it's gonna take a few more days to really get going though, but um, it looks to me that this is gonna go after the highs once again. Now news wise out here, this where do you see this article? This there's an article out here that really gets in, intriguing. Um, and what I believe it's either JP Morgan analyst or zero percent. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the top maybe. Okay. It was, I saw it in the top at one point. Because this is quite an article. There we go. Right right at yeah. the, the the top of the top. Number, right. number, number, number. This is you know, uh, Bob uh, Michael, who in April told investors to enjoy the road, ride and risk act assets, is now looking for to ride U.S. Treasury yields all the way down to zero. Uh, let's see. I think that's where we're headed over the next couple of years. For the 10-year, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the chief investment officer, head of global... Look at that. I mean, this is a big position. Oh, man. totally. I mean, that, that's what gives it... That's yeah. why it's at the top of the top. You right. know, it's not just even a random trader yeah. at J.P. Morgan. You're talking about um, the head of global fixed <laughs> income at one of the best, biggest banks in the world, J.P. Morgan, saying um, the rally in bonds hasn't even begun yet. Um, central banks will succumb to threats from the global trade war to tepid inflation and cut borrowing costs to nothing, according to Michelle, I think it is, his colleagues at J.P. Morgan Chase Company Advisory. Um, Sid made a similar call on this week, saying the global pile of negative yield debt is becoming a tar pit that will eventually suck in the U.S. government bond market. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, that chart of the number of um, the dollar amount of negative yielding debt, yeah. it just Th keeps going. Thirteen up. billion. Yeah. As we, yesterday was thirteen billion. Uh, bi billion or trillion? I was almost going to say. Trillion? I feel like it might be trillion. Yeah, yeah. it's trillion. Yeah, that's it's, right. Not billion. It's yeah. trillion. Thirteen I mean, trillion. Jeff Bezos might have yeah. thirteen billion yeah, of, right. of fixed trillion. income himself. That's, that's like even hard to wrap your head around. That's, um, I, I mean, yeah. You know. So we're sitting at about 2.05 right now. That means it's got 2.05 to go to zero. <laughs> God, hell no. uh, So he changed his bullish call uh, on credit in June and switched to government bonds instead. Uh, so let's see, the 10-year yield, what was he saying? Um, the future looks bleak. Yeah. Either way, pretty remarkable for somebody of his stature and position. It is. Um, because you got to know when you have a title like that and you make a call like that, that it's going to be at the top of the Bloomberg. Oh, serious You know, business. it's going to be at the top of CNBC, you know, yeah. whatever it is, um, for sure. Serious business, no doubt about that. And, yeah. you know, I mean. Go big or go home, right? Why say oof. it's going to go down to half a percent? Say it's going to zero. Right. Yeah. Stay so right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 34. NASDAQ is off 14. S&Ps are up 2.5. We'll come right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 20. Nasdaq off 11. S&Ps are up 3. And natural gas. We had uh, natural gas come out here. Yeah, we did. So 1030, about 10 minutes ago, stockpiles increasing. 62 billion cubic feet. Median estimate was for 69. So kind of missing. A little bit less than they thought. Less... Um, less supply you would think would cause higher prices right is where i confused myself I as know. i started going through and my guess would be that you got that initial spike higher in terms of right away it spikes higher and then boom the fall off begins from 235 down to 230 five pennies man quite yep. a move in that natural gas to jump back to some of those numbers digging down uh so forecasts were anywhere between 61 and 83 right at the bottom range of that bloomberg came in at about 66 uh 143 billion cubic feet below the five-year average man pretty remarkable in terms of where they're coming in at well you know it's amazing is that it seems like it's been years folks that would be below these averages okay you know in the yeah. natural gas it's like okay it's almost like when we talk about you know the gold and then platinum and i mean at the beginning like when platinum was under gold, I say, okay, this got to change. Well, guess what? It hasn't changed in five years. Sure. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, and so when you look at so the number, the headline number, it is the stock wells increased 62 billion cubic feet. They increased to 2.533 trillion cubic feet. So really, though, 143 off. I mean, what is that? Almost a rounding, not really, but that would put the average at 2.6 seven pretty yeah, close right, you know not too right. um so just uh but nonetheless man jumping back to the charts one more time um talk about some volatility jump into volatility too yeah. how about we finish up our volatility conversation with some bitcoin action man yeah look at this they were just they they clued us into it in the den man and they I say what's going this on? what are they talking about in the den did they just say that bitcoin went up seven hundred dollars in the span of 10 minutes yep and they sure did man back above ten thousand bitcoin roaring to the upside man um <sighs> if you're trading that bitcoin you better uh yeah be well just as they say it's untradeable and and what that means folks is that when you're trading, you have to have some kind of risk parameters in. And if something can go up $700 in 10 minutes or down 700 it's like, well, how do you do your risk parameter? Where do you put yeah, a stop? It's tradable you know? that it's all risk. That's, I mean, that's a... Uh, yeah, but like, well, where do you put your risk, though? No, it's you all know? risk. It's like an option. I mean, you better know because that, you know, if you're buying Bitcoin at 9000 you better know it can go down to 1000 or 2000 Oh, yeah. That's all. So that's your risk. I mean, you can quantify that risk. <laughs> well, d d what else are you going to make seven or eight percent on in the span of ten minutes? So the, 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 it's there's some reward to to the ridiculous level of risk that that yeah. you need to to take there. That's a fact. 
but you know what you want you want bitcoin style returns man you're, you're gonna take on some bitcoin style risk that's 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 the, so the look, name of the game this. this is three six this is seven days ago seven days ago <laughs> it was at thirteen thousand one ninety last night it was at nine thousand yeah now it's back at ten yeah just pretty, living the pretty life pretty wild pretty wild man so so Let's go over to TFNN. Right? That's right. You got it, man. What else we got going on? Yeah. We'll get back to gold. How about that? Yeah. And uh, so. The 900th edition. Pretty Coming remarkable. It's Thursday. What does that put it? Four days, man? Yeah. July 22nd, the 900th gold report. 900 straight weeks. You've had that bad boy on your, uh, on your altar getting it done. Yeah. Uh, so we got a great sale going on. This is going to run through this month. We'll walk right. people through. So it's kind of a two-step process in terms of normally the gold report is six hundred and ninety five dollars for a year and we've put together a package where you can get a year of the gold report for four hundred and ninety five dollars for this deal i mean heck of a deal uh monthly it's eighty five dollars a month right now that yeah. price is going up to ninety seven dollars a month august first yeah so come 14 days it's gonna be 97 bucks for a month you can get a whole year for 495 up through that you can purchase tiger dollars uh I'll pull that in. I'm already logged into this. It's a little bit weird, but um, you can get your Tiger dollars. You pay $4.95. You end up with $695 Tiger dollars. You can then immediately take those Tiger dollars and apply them for one year of the Gold Report, and you're good for 12 months, man. Right. And you lock in that $695 forever, which is great because those prices are going up, and um, and you really got gold rocking and rolling at the same time, man, which is great. And if you're not a Gold Report subscriber, that deal's open to everybody. So go get some Tiger Dollars no matter what, man, because this bonus is more than 40%, more than we ever offer no matter what. Right. So they're a great deal, bottom line, no matter what. You can get those Tiger Dollars, apply them to Mastering Probability, Fibonacci 24-7, whatever you're doing out there. Opening call, uh, path of least resistance. So, uh, yeah, man. Pretty remarkable, I know. I'm telling you. What are we going to do for 1,000? Let's oh get it going. Goodness, let's get it going. Hey, it's listen, it's I, about two years away. we got plenty the, of time to plan. What was the last one that we did? Was it, six, was it 600 I, we, or 700? We probably, no, it was probably 800. 800, we probably, okay, we, okay. We probably did I one just, ever. Yeah. Um, but I even remember, you know, one of the big promotions we had that we kind of did a couple times because it was a good deal. We did 60 weeks. Right. For six hundred dollars. Okay. Well, that was issue six hundred. Was it? That's what, that's that's oh how that started. God, that's the first, crazy. The first sixty for six hundred. If Gold Report subscribers are familiar with that promotion, because okay. many people took advantage of it, it was basically ten bucks a week. And not to, it's a great segue. Guess what? This is less than ten bucks a week, folks, because it's fifty-two. So that's sixty weeks for six hundred dollars. So six years ago. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Actually, I remember that. Yeah, all oh, right. Now, we, we ran it a few times in different capacities just because okay. it was a nice it's a nice package, right? right? You know, right. 10 bucks a week, basically. Right. This works out to a little bit less than 10 bucks a week at 495 for 52 weeks. Um, but that's that idea came from, you know what, it's the 600th issue. Yeah. We'll do 600 bucks, get you 60 weeks, 10 bucks a week. And I think it was the same uh, price, at least at that point. So, wild, man. That's right, man. Check it out, folks. Right end of. Uh, featured content. Yeah, right on that front page, you'll see the yep. gold report, man. And that'll run through the end of the um, month, but issue 900, man, coming out on Monday. So check it out right now. The, uh, let's see, so also coming out with... Uh, oh, I just, oh, I thought, okay. Go ahead. Whoa, whoa, I'll get there. So coming out this afternoon, too, uh, ISRG. Now Intuitive this, surgical, huh? Uh, this one here, man. This is so volatile, it's unbelievable. Nice $500 stock. It is. And this thing likes to just trade, I mean, you know. <laughs> Last earnings, they surprised a bit. I guess that I, I would best, yeah, look at that, right to the day almost. It's July 18th. That was April 19th. They came out with their earnings. Yeah. And what did they drop? They dropped $65 on one day. And what's the next day they get to? 486. So they went from, yeah, 589 to 486. Yeah, $100, 20%. Yeah. And yeah, so this will be intriguing, folks, because this, is, this consolidation has been here for a long time. Yeah. You know? Can we jump to the thinkorswim platform real yeah. quick? I want to see what the expected move on this bad boy oh, yeah. is. Uh, great. Right? Yeah. And we'll check out Microsoft's as well. Uh, so what do we go? Analyze tab, I believe. Is it? There it is. $22, $23. Okay. Uh, not 5% maybe something, right? A little bit less than 5%. So that's the one day market maker expected move. Yeah. Uh, let's see what that's Microsoft. That's what Microsoft did, yeah. Yeah. Microsoft $4. looking for four fifteen. That's, that's a big move for Microsoft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They got a lot to not to answer for, right? Yeah. But they're in a little bit of a volatile period, as in you know, 
They have competition in the cloud. They got IBM. I'm sure they'll get oh, some questions at, about red highs. highs. Right. You know, right. Exactly. You know, right. You're at highs. You better be performing yeah. at all cylinders. I agree. Um, Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Uh, our phone number is 877-927-6648. Markets claw on its way. Uh, it's a price here. We'll see. Dow's down 26. Nasdaq's up 11. S&P's up 3. Uh, gold. Gold's uh, up a buck. Bottom line is that it's clawing. Come right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 42. NASDAQ is off 18. S&Ps are up 2. Let's just go into that Dow for a second. I want to yeah. see if it's moving this thing. Yeah. So, strength versus the weakness out here. Oh, United Health. I see. Okay. It's the usual suspect, right? Yep. Boeing up there as well. Yep. United Health uh, minus uh, 37 points. Boeing minus 33. Home Depot minus 12. Disney minus 12. Uh, putting juice into it, IBM plus 36, Apple plus 8.5, McDonald's plus 6. And what does Apple come out with numbers? With the 30th. Okay. okay. Google, the 25th. Okay. Amazon, the 25th. 
We're we're in the thick of it now. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. Next couple of weeks, man, we'll get right. it all. No, not totally. quite, but yeah, uh, we'll get a lot we, of it. We also got Capital One right after the close today too. One more time. C O F. Yeah, 18th, 6th, uh, okay. four past. Yep. Capital One. Everyone spending that Capital One money? Yeah. <laughs> I bet they are, unfortunately, right? Uh, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. The uh, silver market get, you know, hey, let's just look at the gold quickly here. Cause sure. That, this, this, you talk about price spread out here, man. <laughs> you know, what, last night you had it up to uh, 1431. We get down to fourteen fifteen. I know, right? Fourteen twenty four. And then that run yesterday. We basically go from fourteen hundred up to fourteen thirty. Yeah. We're back down to fourteen fifteen. Now we're back to fourteen twenty four. Right. And what you have here, folks, now this is pushing with volume. We got two hundred eighty one thousand. You know. So, we'll see where the rest of this shakes out. But there's no doubt that the metals have caught a bit. Stay right there, folks. We get uh, TD and Meritrade coming up next, and we get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks.